Hey, I'm John Irwin, I'm writer and co-director of Woodlawn. We are in the business of making entertainment to change lives. And that is what's happened this weekend. Woodlawn is entertaining, it's incredible to see it get recognized this way. It's unbelievable, it is at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes with critics. And it's incredible to see Christians and critics championing the same movie because it's entertaining. And that gives us a way in to change lives. You've given Woodlawn the highest cinema score possible, an A plus cinema score. That only typically happens to about two movies a year. It's very, very rare. The only other time this year it's happened is War Room, another Christian movie. Can you believe that? So if you haven't experienced Woodlawn, I want you to experience it, and here's why. It's highly entertaining. It's a film you have to experience to believe, but it's also changing lives. Here's a clip of two rival high school football teams praying together after they saw the movie. Here's another one of a young girl getting baptized because she went to Woodlawn and was saved the night before. She's doing the one-way sign as soon as she's done. There's stories and pictures of hundreds of kids coming to Christ at the same time. So I want to encourage you, if you're a leader, if you're a pastor, if you're a coach, get your kids to see Woodlawn. We should be in the business of changing lives, and Woodlawn is a film that can help you reach young people in a way that maybe you haven't reached them before. Use it. Use it while you can. Here's what's going on around the country with Woodlawn. I understand as this film is being shown around that young people are standing up everywhere for Christ and, and their faith. Is, is that right? Is That's so true. We've seen it all over the country. Can you talk a little bit about what's happening in the screening rooms and what's happening when you're screening this actually for high school football teams around the country? I've never seen anything like it before in my life. It started in Memphis, 40 players came to Christ. It happened in Huntsville and in Arizona. In Texas, over 125 kids, half the room, stood and made decisions for Christ. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm asking you to stand up right now and make a decision to change, to forgive, to choose Jesus. It was amazing the number of kids that professed Christ tonight. The theater was completely dark. They would never turn the lights on. But uh, wow, the light of Christ uh, was shining bright. And you see the potential for this, that if it's seen around the country, that it will bring people together. Oh, this little light of mine. I am a proud Christian. Because of Christ's message of peace, love, and forgiveness. Those three things will save the world. I watched it with my family and the kids were captivated. You're going to see this movie and it is yeah. going to inspire. I think it was all just divine how we seen that movie. None of us had any idea that it was a Christian film. We just thought it was an inspirational football film. Take a look around. This is what happens when God shows up. I'm not going to let Satan blow it out. No, I'm going to let it shine. I'm not gonna let it's undeniable listening to the story of these people who were there. The moment was ready. People were ready. They were open for it. They needed something. There are some young men and women and some adults in this room who want to take a stand. You want to make that decision for Christ that we saw in the movie. You may be the only one in this room that does it. Did you do that right now? Entire teams are making their way. Better than winning a ball game. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine.